So can Emily be redeemed? As we all know, Emily is going to be coming out in the second phase of 4.8. And with 4.8, we've got the new stuff and we've got the new characters and the new banner or the rerun banners, I should say. But Emily is the only new character coming out and she's coming out in phase two of these banners. Now, Emily, as we all know, is going to mainly be a Dendro sort of sub DP. What we also know is that she has a little artifact set that does burning you know helps out do more damage with burn you can see here on the bottom with the substats it says after leaving combat damage dealt is increased by 50 percent and if there are no burning opponents nearby for more than six seconds this damage will be decreased we know that burning is going to be an important part of her kit will it just stop here I think it's safe to say that with emily's release we're going to have a lot of support for Emily when the new Pyro characters come out in Natlin. Mainly maybe the Pyro Archon might actually be a really big assist to Emily's damage. So does that mean that Emily just might be redeemed thankfully with the new Natlin characters? Does that mean that you as a person you know you're about to summon on these banners you're like mm, maybe I'll skip Emily. As you guys know I made a video uh, about why Emily might be the most skipped character. But if you guys think about it, Emily's being released just before Natlin. So it might be safe to say that she might have a kit that will be very beneficial to Natlin characters themselves. So the Dendra support that she's going to have might actually be really good for Pyro characters. And that would mean that burning is going to be a pretty big reaction. And if that's the case, then Emily just might be redeemed. And this might mean that she might not actually be a character that you should skip and should actually be considering getting. Obviously, at the end of the day, if you like the character, you get them. If you don't, you don't. It's as simple as that. You won't really miss out on too much. With this artifact set, the... Well, I think it's called something Reverie, the Unfinished Reverie. You could expect that this might be an artifact set that is not just for Emily, but for other burning characters as well. How many Pyro characters are going to be released in that? Right now, we don't really know. What we do know is that there are a bunch of different element characters that are going to release. We saw Geo, I think Hydro, we saw Dendro already, and we saw Movika being Pyro, and we saw Electro, I think. So there's already a bunch of different characters with different types of elements and not necessarily being Pyro. The main thing is going to be Mavuika. Mavuika is going to be Pyro, which is the Pyro Archon. We all know that Archons tend to be supports and because they are support, they will pretty much be on many teams that need that type of support. So if you want your Dendro to do some burning, he probably is going to be a great pyro support for that so that is just something to think about before you attempt to skip the emily banner but fear not we've got the new banners here and we already talked about them you know previously uh in a previous video we got kave back we got kirara back and we've got these weapons <laughs>